Hello, this is In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. In this video, I'm describing generally the four different conditionals, uh, specifically for a class, Grammar and Context 2, uh, the spring semester 2020. For those of you who are taking Grammar and Context 2 this spring semester 2020, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about the four different types of conditionals. And we'll talk in class in greater detail about this, but I wanted to show a video as to what we're going to be doing uh, today. This week we're focusing on friendship and specifically the four purposes of friendship. So I want to incorporate those ideas that we've been talking about this week and uh, give you an opportunity to think about the four different conditionals and how we can bring in these four different types uh, in this week's activity, again, focusing on the concept of friendship. So the first thing I want to mention here is I've uploaded a an Excel spreadsheet in Microsoft Teams. As all of you have Edu accounts in Office 365, you should be able to access uh, this information that I'm going to be showing you here on my laptop. Now, you'll be able to access all of this information also on your cell phone. And so you may need to, if you haven't already, install the Microsoft Teams app. You might also benefit by having installed the Excel spreadsheet app. If you don't have space on your phone, no worries. You can go into any PC uh, later, whether it's in Caddy in the self-access center uh, at the university or uh, any where that you have access to a laptop computer or a desktop computer, and, and you'll have access to this information that I'm showing here. But do know that it's going to appear slightly different. If you're using a cell phone, again, you're going to need separate apps. You'll need the Microsoft Teams app. And if you want to access the Excel spreadsheet that I'm going to show you here in a few minutes, uh, you'll need to also install the Microsoft Excel app. So this is going to be uh, our team and called Context 2, and you'll notice a general tab. Now here you'll have posts. I've shared with you a link to a website that goes over the four conditionals. That's this uh, website right here. There are many websites. I just chose this one. Uh, feel free to uh, scour the net and find additional examples of uh, the conditionals if that helps. But uh, this is, I think, a good place for us to start. Again, you can access this uh, link by going to Posts under our Teams and Microsoft, and uh, you can access uh, this information. in the present tense, whereas the third conditional is an unreal conditional in the past tense. Okay, so think of it as present, future, present, past. Un uh, I'm sorry, real, real, unreal, unreal. 
And we're going to talk about these again in greater details. We're also going to talk about other modals that could also be uh, placed into these conditionals to change slightly the meaning. But I think this is a good starting point. And uh, this is what we're going to work on today in class. Each of you, again, will be able to access these different files. Now, on um, in class, when we talk about these different conditionals, if you're not able to access this file this first day because we're just getting started, uh, no worries. Um, you can uh, work in your notebook and upload this information at a later uh, time. But uh, do try to access this if you can uh, in class so that I think it would be that much easier so you don't have to really create this in two different places. You can work directly in this file and upload the information. This is what we're going to work on today in class and probably tomorrow on Friday. Today's March 12th, Thursday, and uh, the idea is to try to finish this uh, scheme here, this, um, this matrix, so that we can use this to help us talk about uh, the different uh, conditionals that we have presented here in terms of the different types or purposes of friendship, again, that we covered uh, in class. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're not able to access this information, again, this is in Microsoft Teams. And uh, again, under Posts, this is where you can find the link to the website. And under Files, under these two folders, Class Materials and Unit 2, Week 7, this is where you can find the Excel spreadsheet.